What's up, boys, man? Another YouTube video, another Mutt gameplay. This is actually against my guy, Trey, who's on the Needed Gaming stream team, man. If you guys want to watch the best streamers in the game, make sure you check out that stream team. Check out my Twitch link. It is below. Also, follow me on all the social medias. Any any uh, offense, defense, special teams you guys see, MaddenTurf.com. That's where you get it. And on top of that, man, I got a question for you guys. Who is your favorite Madden streamer? Who do you guys watch? I mean, other than me, of course, I got to be your favorite. But other than me, who else do you like? And so, who are some underrated man streamers? Maybe you guys, uh, maybe I should take a look at. Maybe there's some talent. I'm always looking for some new talent to try to really bring up and try to take a look at. I like watching Madden just as much as you guys. So let me know who your favorite man streamers are. But let's get into this gameplay. All right, boys, so we're going to see a lot of bunch, both from me and him. It's pretty similar, but he's going to mix in this Darren Waller, this low ball curl. Uh, and Darren Waller is a big body. Should have got a pick right there. I don't know. We got to make that play right there. But Darren Waller is a big body. It's hard to get in front of these tight ends. He's 6'6". This new limited Darren Waller, probably the best tight end in the game. I know Vernon Davis came out, but this 6'6 body, like, it's it's tough to, <laughs> tough to get around. Pause. What you know how you I know how the YouTube comments are. You guys are crazy. Low ball right there, Darren Wall. I'm telling you, it's tough to guard a big body tight end. I think Darren Waller is the best in the game right now. As he does another low ball. That time there was two players right next to him. Rough to try to see that when you feel like you have good coverage, but when they low ball, anything's open. We get a sack right there. Ricky Jackson, third and three. We're gonna have the right coverage on the field. Really bag everything up. We're going to get this sack right here. OC Human Yards going to get him off the field. Hold him to three. Now, I say this all the time, man. It's pretty easy to win football games if you don't give up touchdowns. Especially Madden games. There's only four or five possessions a game. If you don't give up any touchdowns, more than likely you're going to win the game. So threes, although it sucks, you know, him having a lead, but at the end of the day, it's only three. We can go ahead and take the lead real quick with a good drive right here. Josh Allen getting sacked by Taylor Mays. Nobody really open right there on the field for me. We're going to drop back the next play, and we are going to find Amari Cooper sideline. Amari Cooper is my slot receiver. Now, I'll tell you, this Stephon Diggs is looking pretty good. Might take his spot, but you see Cooper cooking. Cooper cooking Denzel Ward in man coverage. Josh Allen doesn't really have a boost for read option, but he picks up a couple. Uh, second and eight, we're going to drop back Josh Allen. Another pass to Reggie Bush, man. If you guys are playing against man coverage, make sure you guys are using your running back and your tight end. Those guys are the money makers against man coverage. Uh, nobody can really cover either of those players, as you see Amari Cooper frying again. So between Cooper, uh, Bush, and Waller, this is definitely going to be a good drive as we get another first down. Reggie Bush inside the 12-yard line at the 10, first and goal. We're going to run a real stretch, get back to the middle. Reggie Bush carrying bodies to the one-yard line. Uh, first down, he's going to show me he's got a little bit of fullback dive defense. Boom. Okay, I think that was Jermichael Finley. Could not get in, but we're going to run a toss right here. Reggie Bush, Baja, good drive. We worked Bush, we worked Cooper, we worked Waller, we, everybody got the ball. You know, so make sure you guys are really using halfback master or run, running back, whatever it is, to get the routes and the uh, and the extra catch. And Christian McCaffrey has it, he's really cheap. That's what I have on my no money spent. But Reggie Bush is the best, man. He should be all your running backs if you guys are not on a budget. Because uh, that those extra hot routes and catching, they really cannot be guarded. So, we got to just keep him out of the end zone. Made him use all his timeouts. Uh, just got to keep him in bounds and we'll be cool. He throws another flat pass that I want to put my hands on. But we get him in bounds. Third and two right here. Same thing. Got to keep him in bounds. But Darren Waller, the big body tight end, beating me to the sideline. First down, 35 seconds left. We got to get out of half here. We can't give up anything. Uh, it'd be nice to get seven to, seven to three. We do get the ball as we get this throwaway right here from Brett Favre. 27 seconds left in the half, and he's able to find Reggie Bush somehow, some way. That's a good find, man. It was the last read on the field. He did not expect to throw that, but my purple zone watched him go. I've always thought if it's if the play breaks down like that, my purple zone should go guard that guy. I don't know what he's looking at. Does he want to go to halftime? Does he want to break? I, I don't know, but he just walks, lets him walk by him. He's able to find him. Good dot, but two threes do not equal beat a seven. So we're in position to win this game. Let's go down the field. Let's get a strong drive. Let's put it together. Corner route, Cooper. Watching this game, I, I mean, I don't really feel like I need to replace Cooper. He's frying. He might have 70 yards already underneath DK Metcalf. Not a lot, but we'll take a little. Once again, send some pressure underneath DK Metcalf. Not a lot, but we'll take a little. 
It's third and seven. We're going to try the same thing. This time he drops a lot of people in coverage. Uh, we're able to roll away, get the ball away with Josh Allen. We get a fourth and seven here. We're going to go low ball. Amari, not enough for the first down, man. So we turn the ball over on downs. I can't, can't have three plays that result in three yards and get to that fourth down. So uh, it was good defense. He pressed Amari, got in his pockets, would not let him get to the first down marker. Uh, and he's going to go to Reggie Bush here. Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush. Uh, Reggie Bush, that's pretty much how it's working right now. I did. Like I told you, he's really tough to guard. As soon as you go ahead and think that Reggie Bush is going to be the one, he's able to hit me with a with the corner route of Amari Cooper, the same player, down to the two. First player for a fourth quarter, he runs play action on the goal line, hits the tight end. Good call. I mean, it was first down. I feel like you got to run, come in on first down. Um, but I gave a touchdown. So he doesn't go for two here. Questionable. I feel like you have to go for two. Four minutes left. That way you can go ahead and take a seven-point lead. So now I'm feeling good. All we need is a touchdown. We can go down the field. We can win the game. Let's take some clock. Let's take our time. Corner route, Amari Cooper. 20-yard uh, gain right there. Listen, Amari's cooking. So I got to use some clock here. Three minutes, 29 seconds left. We get hit as we release the ball. Second down, we're going to drop back here. We're going to go ahead and low ball this post route to Calico and get low. First down, 21-yard line. A little more read option. He blows it up that time. Uh, that That's a tough play. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, close to the two-minute warning here. Go with the out route. There he is. Waller catches a juke inside the one-yard line. Boom. We are down by six. Got to get in. Fullback dive. He blows it up again. Really good fullback dive defense. Um, so if you play Trey, man, I wouldn't run fullback dive. Right there we go. A little power. Reggie Bush gets stood up. We hold him from another timeout. Third and goal, we're going to go again. Another dive. We get blown up again. Damn. Fourth and goal on the four. Got to go with your best play here. Uh, and he was ready for my best play. Kind of bagged. I did bag it. Josh Allen cannot get it done. We turn the ball over and down. But he's on the six-yard line. So we're going to have to try to make him fight right here. Goes to the low ball. Hits again. That's brutal because it's third, sec, or second and short. He's going to hit the corner route right here. Amari Cooper, what saves me is... Oh, uh, well, I use my timeout. He has one. I have one timeout left. He runs the ball here. We get a tackle. Boom. Going to use our last. No timeouts left. I can get the ball back with 30 seconds. He's going to pass right here. He's going to have all day try to waste more time. Uh, we're not sending the spot. We're sending both of them. He's got Brett Favre. He's not going to run. He tries to throw on the run. Incomplete. Save me time. Gave me life. I'm loving it. Next play, third down. We're going to get a, a hit on the quarterback. Get him to fourth and ten, and he's going to go for this. Fourth and ten, we send everybody corner route. Boom, short of the sticks. Kind of like my fourth down. So now we have a minute 15, no timeouts, and you guys know I have done more with less. This is a, this is a lifetime, a minute with no timeouts. So we're cool. We're doing good. We're going to hit this drag right here. Tyrone Calico, not a lot, but we'll take a little. Three yards. Just like that. He sends a little pressure right here. We're going to throw Reggie Bush over the middle. Drops it, though. Good hit stick. We get to a fourth and seven for the Chaloops. Where are we going with the ball? Who else? Amari Cooper. First down. We're going to get to the line. We're going to spike the ball, man. 27 seconds left. No timeouts. I cannot afford to stay in bounds right here. Nothing doing. Throw the ball to Reggie Bush underneath. But how he keeps me in bounds. I'm going to do the unthinkable. Run to the line. Spike it. One play left. Now, I'll tell you guys, man, if you got one play left from this 19-yard line, you got to think, what can possibly score me this touchdown, right? Um, he's been playing a lot of man coverage. I got to throw the ball into the end zone more than likely. So I'm going to have some streaks, maybe three seams, maybe a running back wheel route, maybe a running back streak route, something to really get into the end zone and give me a chance to throw it. Um, the one thing is you kind of got to, you know, pull out a dot that you haven't used all day and you have to account for his user. You have to account for where his user is going to be. You have to take his user one way and try to find the dot the other way. And I want to go ahead and show you guys the play that I chose right here. All right, so we're working through this play, but we get to the line here, man. We're at the 19-yard line. Uh, that's Anybody can kind of attack the end zone from the 19-yard line. It's not too far out, but it's not too far out. You got a lot of space, and he's been running a lot of man coverage, right? That's been his go-to. I'm going to try to hit a post right here. I see he's in zone right here. 
Um, and I'm gonna audible to I'm gonna audible to clear out. I want to hit my tight end here. I want to, but I have to distract his user. So I put Cooper on a post, motion him over, just make him watch that with his user. Maybe I can hit Cooper. And soon as he commits, I just hit boom. Darren Waller touchdown. Walk off the field. That's what I mean. You got to pull out a dot you haven't used all game, and you have to distract this user. Most importantly, you got to find people that go to the back of the end, people that get into the end zone, man. You can't score a touchdown if you're not in the end zone. Like, this is just rocket science here on the YouTube channel, man. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, that's what it's about, making the big plays at the big times, man.